Woo. Gonna tell you all about my man Adremalek Apprentice to a necromancer with a tarot deck He's gonna summon all the metal gods of yesterday That's just the kind of shit he gets to on the day to day He's always asking for advice on the occult forum And taking off before the membership can reach quorum And if you're guessing that his name is spelled with an umlaut Well then you're wrong and now it's time for intros by Kumquat Yeah Uh huh <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> How do you turn this thing off? Shit. If you put 17 hours of garbage day into a crate, you get puppies! <laughs> In the room this hour, we have Lemon, Isfahan, Jack Chick, Nacho Gulag. Shell game, Zarla, <laughs> Zarla, and art. your artist, Adam Bozart. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we are in hour 17 of 24. Those numbers are looking kind of close to each other. I'm feeling a little bit, I'm feeling, I'm feeling optimistic about it. Hey, when's I the last time it. we've changed Albert? Uh, let's give Albert, let's make him, I think I want to make him spin. Uh, like no, no, no! I want Storm. Let's let's get some spooky Albert. Um, you know, cuttlefish, is... cuttlefish, you're right. I'm I'm not in good shape. No. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hang so uh, so here we are. Uh, a couple people. We've got uh, Isfahan back in here. Hi, buddy. Hi. Hey, uh, <laughs> we've got uh, uh, Shell Game. Uh, first time. How you doing? I'm doing good. Howdy. Good. Good for now. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, Jack Chick, you're here and you shouldn't be. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I requested for that last thing to be the last thing I did tonight, and, uh, Boots ignored me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll, uh, we'll see how this thing progresses. Yeah, no, uh, this is gonna be great. I'm not at all sober. If you, uh, <laughs> if you pass out, uh, that's fine. That's totally fine. Uh, Just try to roll over on your side so you don't puke on the vomit. <laughs> uh, yeah, once, but puke will puke to the left, not to the right. Once again, here we are raising uh, money for the National Network of Abortion Funds. It's at uh, 95.32.39. I feel like I would love to see that thing get to 10,000 soon. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to pressure anyone. I'm not trying to pressure anyone. I'm just saying if that got to 10,000 soon, that would be uh, really cool but here we are in the saga of okay now i have to figure out how to pronounce this uh <laughs> saga of adromalek adromalek how did you say in the song oh adromalek you're not here boots adromalek <laughs> So, uh, so yeah this is uh we're gonna be visiting uh occultforum.org <laughs> Ooh, I wonder what that has in store for uh, <laughs> Cool, cool fonts. That's what that has. Shit, my computer's yeah. cursed now. <laughs> uh, and uh, I think I think we're gonna start off, uh, Adam. Uh, we're gonna start off with you, if if that's all right with you. Uh, I think we want to. Oh. No, I'm sorry. I, Adam's not here. I'm. I'm. I'm write it out. I guess. I'm now, <laughs> Adam is here. I'm now just seeing things. Uh, it's fine. We'll start off with you, and um, right. we're gonna. We, if you could take us to the Hall of Flame, please. <laughs> All right, everyone. And this is the Hall of Flame. Where today we're gonna be <laughs> summoning a famous dead person. Outstanding. <laughs> Pretty soon, actually, this Saturday afternoon, I have a ritual to determine whether, as in rain. Uh, or not, I can become a full initiate into our necromancy order instead of just a trainee. <laughs> I'm not that nervous because High Priest Vincent. <laughs> <laughs> Vincent Clortho! <laughs> has trained me well, and I have been practicing every day. Problem is, I'm cutting it close. Basically, the necromancy elders from other parts of Georgia, like Stone Mountain, Savannah, and Atlanta, will come to Valdosta and watch me do a summoning ritual. I don't want it to be boring because they have all summoned like a hundred different things before, so some lesser imp or regular human spirit or something would probably put them all to sleep. So I decided I would try to summon someone famous. Cool, cool, got it, cool. Uh, you're, a, you're a performer, that's terrific. So, uh, 
Mm-hmm. So for the last week, I've been trying to summon Ronnie James Dio. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. I know it was high priest Vincent was pretty torn up when he died, so I thought I would do this one as a surprise. <laughs> Probably at least one of the other elders likes Dio too, anyways, because come on, who doesn't? Yeah, the but probability I, is good. I, <laughs> hope, he, I hope he like comes out of the grave on a flaming lion. <laughs> <laughs> but I've tried the ritual the last two nights, and both times it didn't work. I'm getting pretty desperate here, so I will do it again tonight. Take notes in this log as I do, and if anyone notices where I'm making some amateur mistake, maybe they can tell me. <laughs> okay, so step one, draw the summoning circle. I just drew a pentagram on the attic floor with red chalk purchased especially from a company that makes supplies for this sort of ritual. So I know I've got the right kind of chalk. So they don't even come at me with that wrong chalk bullshit. <laughs> also, Victor, Victor taught me how to draw the circle himself, so I know I did that part right. Yay, Victor. <laughs> Victor. Boo, Victor in this case. <laughs> I put candles Yay! all around the circle and some other places in the room Yay! for lighting and mood purposes. <laughs> Yay! I, I, I Yay! Want, I want Dio to, you know, to, uh, to feel Yay! the vibe of the place when he comes Yay! through. Oh, yeah. Yay! <laughs> all right, Victor. Calm down. Calm down, Victor. Calm down, Victor. <laughs> so I'm supposed to out Ronnie's sigil in the middle, but how the hell should I know what that is? So I just put Black Sabbath in chalk in the middle. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I like this guy. (laughs) It just feels, yeah, there's a surprising amount of this. It's just like, it feels like I should be doing this, so I did it. (laughs) Uh, Step two put the attractor possession in the triangle. It's much easier to summon a wayward spirit to, to a place if you have a possession it owned in human life, or a hair, or a picture of it, or something connected to it. So cheap beer. Yeah. I really don't have anything that Dio owned, but I do have a Weird. CD of Heaven and Hell. So I put that in the middle with a pack of cigarettes and a picture of one of his hotter groupies that I found on Google. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Here's someone. <laughs> oh my god! Oh! Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> we are in five figures. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit, guys! The GIF is just now like full on to share zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much, everybody. Wow. Oh, oh yeah. Oh man. Okay, so um, <laughs> see, the, so I guess like you put the picture of the groupie, and then you know. The ghost of Dio has like his Texas Avery Wolf take on it, and it's like <laughs> you like lure him to the realm of the living. Anyway, uh, by the uh, way, by the way, uh, this plan, uh, this garbage day plan, has worked out for us uh, in in many ways. Uh, and one of those ways was that I don't know whose plan. It probably was Boots's plan to get Jack Chick drunk enough. <laughs> 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 that he would not only uh, come back for an hour he doesn't belong in, but also <laughs> donate four hundred and sixty-eight dollars. Oh, oh god! god. Woo. Hey, Woo. That's what it like. That's true. Yeah. What's the topic? Because I haven't been paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> He's been wrestling with the donation uh, interface. Don't worry about oh. it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Hello. But, but hey, hey, Lemon, you didn't read my uh, my inspirational quote that I put in. Uh, your your inspirational quote is "fuck man." <laughs> <laughs> I think that's something we all needed to hear. Yeah. <laughs> really, uh, fuck man. <laughs> all right. So step three: if we begin the incantation. I just lit incense that is aquamarine scented. Huh? Is, I thought that was a color, but okay. As soon as I stop writing this paragraph, I will say this. I entreat thee, Ronnie James Dio, to manifest yeah. before me, so that you may give me true and faithful answer, so that I may accomplish my desired end, provided Is that... Is proposing? <laughs> <laughs> I'm... Ronnie James Dio, you made me so happy. <laughs> Is that what Dio will say? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, that's right. I was busy trying to Google uh, his hotter groupie. <laughs> 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 Write it that it is proper to your office. This I respectfully and humbly ask in your name. Uh, step four is wait. Get that. <laughs> okay, did it. Now I wait and concentrate, sitting in the full lotus position in front of the circle until I feel his presence sweep into the room, which will go cold at first and then suddenly become very hot. If it goes really well, I will see him and speak to him. If it only goes a little well... It'll just feel his presence really strongly, but I need to be able to make him appear and move things around with dark telekinesis. <laughs> not not regular telekinesis. It has to be dark. <laughs> it's spooky <laughs> telekinesis. <laughs> <laughs> or be visible or something that will satisfy the elders when they come. Mm. If, if I think if I can get Dio to come out tonight, they'll be able to explain to him my situation, and it will be easier to get him to appear on Saturday. And he used a hotter groupie, so he's <laughs> more amenable to your request. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I understand our Lord and Savior, Ronnie James Dio's name in vain. <laughs> yes. I don't think Dio's going to appreciate the this whole like uh, timeshare meeting approach you have. It's like, oh, well, I mean... This isn't the actual summoning? I, I just want to make sure that you come back for the summoning on Saturday. He was, was put on the, this earth for like one fucking purpose, and that was to fucking rock kind of mediocre. <laughs> oh my god. Awesome. Chris Collision is about to come over to your house and punch you Ooh, in the yeah. house. <laughs> It'll be fisticuffs, I have, man. I have, I have fucking drank in an airport bar with Collision, and I will fucking go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. Oh, all right, all right, all right. He's got about a foot and a half on you, but okay. <laughs> I mean, sure, but he's also a vegan, so he's... Okay. You know, <laughs> vegan-y. <laughs> okay, that's uh, vegan. Uh, yeah, so here I am uh, on Google Image Search, uh, Ronnie James Dio groupie, really trying. Uh, all I'm coming up with is him making out with Lemmy Killmeister. Uh, oh, my God. Which I guess maybe that's one of his hotter groupies. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, any port in a storm. Uh, the uh, the next thread here. Oh, one of the avatars is uh, the the drunk uh, priest from Father Ted. That makes me happy. Um, uh, no, we've got uh, we're we're in the same uh, we're I'm sorry we're in the same thread here. We're in the same thread uh, summoning a famous dead person um, and shell game. Uh, yeah. Your name is a cultus. Uh huh. All right. Well. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Maybe I'm overstepping a line here. I'm not a necromancer. Then get I the won't... fuck out! <laughs> yeah. well, I've only ever summoned dragons, but if I may... You, know that thing that you, do. you don't even have to put candles down to summon dragons. <laughs> I've only summoned dragons. Who hasn't summoned a dragon? Only. <laughs> it's, it's not about the act. This is about decorum. Yes. <laughs> I think you might want to pull back on the summoning famous people thing. I mean, I get what you're saying about not wanting to be boring to a bunch of people who have summoned all sorts of things, but I think they're probably going to be more be looking at things like a technique, skill, <laughs> ability, how serious of a student you are, and if you take necromancy seriously. <laughs> so many deal, what else do they want? Then I took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> oh, oh, god yeah. damn it. <laughs> well, the last hour is bleeding into this hour. <laughs> this sounds like something that is purely academic. Uh, <laughs> Plus, considering you're only just going to be moving from training to in yet, <laughs> they are not going to expect you to be as good as they are, have as much experience. You are just starting out, and they're going to understand that. Um, they just want to see if you fit the requirements for moving up to the next level. I also think that they may actually look at someone trying to summon someone famous as... Well, comma dot dot dot. Uh, that would probably be that amateurish thing you were talking, asking about. Uh, no offense. Oh, still like okay. Uh, Hi. <laughs> Hi. Yes. Hello. Hello. I come close out.
<laughs> is there something that you can do that will show off your skill and your hard work at learning all the proper procedures <laughs> for things and don't worry about entertaining them? They don't want to be entertained. No. And they seriously think they might pass you over for initiation if you do. Good, good luck on your um, exam. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, and then we're going to uh, skip by, skip past the uh, post uh, by the seeker uh, who has the avatar of Father Jack. Um, and uh, but you know, uh, I responded as well as as uh, the seeker, Father Jack. Uh, but Andromalek, uh, you liked uh, both comments, right? Yeah. That's... Thanks for your comments, you two. <laughs> Turns out you two were totally right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I screwed it all up. That's the short version. Hmm. Some of you already know because you asked for private messages, and I appreciate your concern, but I don't know what the hell went wrong. <laughs> if you'll remember, in the middle of the summoning circle is a power triangle, and in that I put a CD of heaven and hell and a pack of smokes, but nothing was happening. What happened to the picture? <laughs> so, I, so I figured, what the hell? I'd take it. <laughs> so I figured, what the hell? I just listened to the CD and have a sig while I waited. So I burned down the heater and started rocking out to some fucking Sabbath. <laughs> so I kind of hit this trance stage where I was just laying on my back next to the summoning circle and listening to those <laughs> kick ass guitar solo as and thinking about what it would me means to have the dark spark. Thanks for <laughs> all capsing the very Come important on, words so I know what to look for. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and I guess I fell asleep. I d I don't know for sure, but I woke up coughing because I had all this incense <laughs> and insects incense. Incense, yeah. <laughs> and candles around the circle, and when I fell asleep, I guess I knocked one over with my foot and it caught the attic floor on fire. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't like a big fire or anything, but the wood was burning and there was a whole lot of smoke, so it was pretty fucked up. So I grabbed this blanket I had up there and I just beat the hell out of the flames and they went out pretty okay. There's this huge black spot now and soot all over the walls and shit. Of course the blank <laughs> is ruined too and it was a pretty good blanket, a gift for my father. It had a tiger on it but now you can barely even tell it was a tiger. Poor lady. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> it, it feels like he was really high at this point. Yeah. <laughs> so needless to say I was feeling pretty discouraged about everything and that's also why I didn't write anything on the next day but you know I got to thinking and I was just thinking that maybe it did work but just <laughs> Dio works a mysterious way <laughs> maybe I'm actually Boy, a really sure good do. summoner question mark <laughs> yeah maybe <laughs> <laughs> Because at that moment, I was sleeping in the flames. And just like engulfed in smoke and blackness. And that is pretty much right on for a necromancer. <laughs> my, True. Right my on. My mentor, Vincent von Androalfus, is sometimes oh. spirits can enter us or affect us when we summon them. So maybe Dio what? did make me fall asleep and made me fuck up the attic with fire. <laughs> Dio would not fucking do that. Well, that's no. not fucking shit that our Lord um, Dio God made me fuck up the attic with fire. Look, okay. okay. He, he it wasn't me, it was Dio. Fire. It Dude, was he's got reasons. He's got reasons. Let God. the man talk. I can, look, okay. I, I can sense some hostility here. So I can think of two reasons Dio would do this. Okay, number one. <laughs> he wanted me to have a close experience with darkness and fire to help me on my necromancy path. Fuck you. <laughs> two, he doesn't want to be summoned and was telling me to fuck off and die. Fuck you. You know? <laughs> Number three, fuck you. <laughs> Number three, this is all fake. Yow. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, without more information, I can't really make a good guess one way or another, so I'll have to try and summon him again at the ritual. It's on Friday, and just see how it goes. Of course, I will meditate some more on these happenings, but I can't dwell on the fact that all the time, so I'll be trying to get some other stuff done this week, too. As always, <laughs> if you have any questions about summoning rituals or anything else related to necromancy, <laughs> just hit me up. Ah, so on, this person that. is, uh, what, in like a 
novice coming to be an initiate and is like, hey, if you all have any questions about necromancy, I'm the person to ask. <laughs> they set my attic on fire. Ask me questions. <laughs> I've been doing this for a week, so I'm pretty much an authority. Necromansplaining. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes. <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm, the, I'm usually on the computer late at night doing arcane research. <laughs> Yeah. Thanks for reading. Dad, Dad it's arms. arcane research. <laughs> That's what I call it, too. Get out of my room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then uh, now we're back to uh, Occultess, uh, Shell Game. Uh, you might yeah. be able to shed some light on what happened. I might. Uh, you know, jeez, I'm sorry about the no, fire. No, no, uh, A little bit oh. further down. Go oh. into the dock if you wouldn't yeah, mind. Okay. You might need to shed a little light on what happened. You bet. Oh, you're right. <laughs> um, I might be able to shed some light on what happened with a tarot reading. <laughs> I'm not a professional or anything, so I guarantee nothing. Right, you're a tarot card reader. <laughs> <laughs> but, I could tr- but I could try if you'd like. I'm not going to wait for you to answer. More or less. <laughs> a bunch of ellipses, which is like loading tarot card reading. <laughs> That was his. Uh, that was his opportunity to object, and he didn't take it. <laughs> didn't click yes fast enough. Yeah. <laughs> More or less, this is otherwise the interpretation I had of the cards. Uh, the was a card about being concerned with appearances, so this probably refers to you are not wanting to bore the judges to death and choosing to do something with a little more pizzazz. <sighs> <laughs> One card was about being overburdened, so I, I think you might be indicating either that you were uh, that you chose to do was what you chose to do was maybe a little bit more than you could handle, or on account of it being right next to a card that seemed to be about the invitation you received to go to the initiation thing, perhaps it <laughs> just put a lot of pressure on you trying to prepare and figure out what you wanted to do for it. And there was a card about getting what you desire. Uh, I'm not sure that means you were successful in summoning Ronnie James, or if it indicates something else. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> this particular Whatever. card was next to the tower reversed. It was the only book card that I bothered to name. This could possibly <laughs> indicate that you are feeling trapped in this whole Dio summoning situation. It might mean you have to start from scratch. It might mean you have to let go of what you desire. Ellipses. But, <laughs> way more ellipses. So the picture on the card seems to have something to offer as well. I said the card was the tower, which is true if it's a traditional deck like Rider Waite. The deck I'm using, however, is a Druid-themed deck, so the card is actually called Aileen Mac Midna. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why this is interesting is that while both the Rider Weight and my deck have fire on that card, my card depicts a- a- Aileen Mac Midna, who what is a musician fuck? from Irish mythology who would who put the pa- people of this particular village to sleep <laughs> with his magic harp, ma- magic harp, and then he would set their houses on fire. Sounds like those <laughs> are bullshit to me. See? It makes perfect sense. Poser bullshit. <laughs> so is, is this this guy is trying to start a fight with me or what? No, two metal warriors don't hold with this bullshit. I will I will kill him if he tries to burn down the rest of my house. I am very skilled in martial arts. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm Cactus Jack five four three. And uh, I've read most all the posts and tarot reading. Many of you may have read I'm opening hell as a second attempt to free everyone into heaven, including demons, <laughs> but to go elsewhere, Mabby. <laughs> I decided this last year because I call it Earth time, so doubling up was best. Son, you were burning in flames. Burning in flames! <laughs> As I realize, many witches put things in hell to keep safe visit their act, but rare people double up. Their ectoplasm. (laughs) You dwell with a free ticket to hell or keep things safe there, you might want to double up. The tower was the castle of hell, burning flames, but also a cultress. Do you see a door open wall? Hey, this was my reading, not yours. (laughs) (laughs) 
uh, and then uh, this thread that we're reading here goes on for, uh, I mean, a while. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, I mean, okay, 41 posts. I mean, for, you know, for a <laughs> it's not, it's not super insane. Uh, but it goes on for a while, and uh, people start to uh, question uh, Andromalek's, uh, you know, uh, seriousness in the craft um, and sanity. Uh, and uh, so then Andromalek uh, breaks it down. Oh, good. <laughs> on the second page of the. Uh, yeah, the yeah, whatever. Oh, oh. Come on. Uh, page six of 14 in the doc. Oh, here we are. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, whatever. <laughs> You're not the first doubters I've met, and you won't be the last. <laughs> I will break down how I train so you know how serious I am. <laughs> I have time for it because I got suspended from my job doing inventory and shit at the store. Oh no! Uh, what store, store doesn't there? matter. Uh huh. And I think they expected me to give a damn, but I don't because now I can devote all my time to my necromancy training. Then they try to stop me, I'll moitilate them. Have we have we found the McGick uh, Patrick eighty <laughs> two? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna try raising all sorts of things from the dead. <laughs> and somehow it's going to cost me a lot of money. Uh, anyway, <laughs> it is hard to care about timesheets and unloading containers when you know your future is about rend rending the dread veil between this life and the plane of the dead. Mm -hmm. the, the plane of the dead. Yeah, the, uh, it's in the it's unremarkable it's boring, just boring, dead. Yeah. <laughs> So I will break, as in breaks out a car, down my daily necromancy training routine for you. Yay. That way you can try it at home if you want to see the kind of results I do. Awesome. That is to say, extreme results. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. Why do I set my attic on fire? Okay, so around noon, you're going to wake up. Oh. Because <laughs> you don't have a job. <laughs> sure. Wait up! <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, noon 30... That's that's breakfast. Uh, yeah. Breakfast is something high in carbs because the day is going to be pretty intense and you use a lot of energy doing the various special moves. Yeah, the, the dead <laughs> run on carbs. <laughs> a lot of very, a lot of very in here. You got to charge up your energy bar. <laughs> We're not going to be no keto for us. Oh, okay. Uh, one to two p.m. That's flips. Um, <laughs> Oh, you thought I was kidding when you said you'd lose a lot of energy doing very special moves, huh? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, no. Uh, basically, you can't win them all. Sometimes you have to use evasion techniques in battle. So at that time, you can use flipping if you're good at it. Flips have been around since caveman times, and there's a reason... <laughs> <laughs> a lot of caveman. We were always flipping since the world's been turning. The flip. The flip. There's a reason those guys survived well enough to have kids. Our ancestors. I know it because I read it in an evolution website about how God is fake, etc. <laughs> oh, the internet's always fake. Right. up. Mm -hmm. Okay, I really like a Yeah, great. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fucking badass. So, so, 2 to 4 p.m. is spark training. Uh, spark tree anning is so I can shoot lightning bolts later. I already talked about this before, too, but it's important for you to know that I'm not saying you should just do spark training for two hours. You could practice making sparks while you're doing other shit, like cleaning your room or watching TV or just hanging out. Personally, I like to play Dragon Age Origins during this time because uh, I haven't got all the endings yet, and I only max level one of my guys, and I didn't get to bang all the girls yet. Only Morgan, the cleavage witch, but not the red-headed elf yeah. form, Liliana. But did you install the titty too, mod? <laughs> did you install the titty mod? Uh, no, she, she is the cleavage witch. Did you install the titty mod? <laughs> yes, I have Skyrim too, but I don't play it as much because you can't bang the girls. <laughs> My priorities in order. Mm -hmm. So no, he did not install the mod. <laughs> no. This, this dude is cool. And when he says uh, spark tree aiming is so I can shoot lightning bolts later, does that mean that he like, <laughs> is setting those up to for later? Like, I'm shooting lightning bolts later? Yeah, he's preparing yeah. his spells for the day. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's a yeah, it's a D and D fancy and magic system. <laughs> 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 Oh my gosh, we're, we're just throwing soundboard spaghetti at the wall here. <laughs> Garbage day! <laughs>
right, last button pushing, please. <laughs> All right. Um, so 4 p.m. to 6 p.m., that's studies. It's important to train your mind as well as your body and spirit body. I look stuff up on websites and read from ancient tomes that I got from my master and also read necromancy books at the library, but our library only has a few of them. And when I asked them if they could get the Necronomicon in, they said they don't even have that in their computer. Figures that the government would not want people to read it, I guess. I shouldn't be surprised, but it was worth a shot. That's because when you Did try to pick it up, your fingers get caught in the mouth, and then there's a whole slapstick routine. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. he's in the city council bandit. Oh, yeah. oh, skeletons go three stooges on you, your face gets stretched out. What if it's like a low? Six to seven right, Seriously, stop dinner. with the buttons. <laughs> Uh, dinner can be whatever you want, really. Just try to make sure it's sort of healthy a lot of the time, because I like I am always telling you, your body is your temple. And if you put <laughs> crap into it, you guessed it, your body will turn into crap. The crap body, your power level will drop like crazy. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, uh, <laughs> 7, 7, 7 p.m. to 2 a.m. is free time. Okay. Oh, cool. <laughs> Recess! <laughs> the evenings are free right now since that's when I used to do my training and I work during the day. But now I don't have to work, so I have more free time. You can adjust the hours if you work, but actually, if you get fired from your job, you can get paychecks from the government, which is enough if you don't have to oh, pay your rent. Oh, free money from the government! Yeah. Woo! But like, they must let me get the Necronomicon. <laughs> Like blood money, basically. <laughs> well, you know, you take the good with the bad. Um, like, for example, my house was inherited from my dad. So you can do whatever you want, really, at night. No wonder you can burn it down. <laughs> my, my, house, my house is inherited from my dad, so you can do whatever you want. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you obviously got fired, so you can spend all that time doing nothing. <laughs> Why do people even have jobs? <laughs> it's not like you gotta pay rent. <laughs> Anyway, uh, 2 to 3 a.m., that's the darkness. <laughs> so 2 a.m. is when I do a routine that is uh, non-orthodox, even for necros. My attic has no windows, so it's totally dark. So I go up there with no light, and I go to the darkest part of the total darkness, and I just soak it in. Like, everything is trapped in perfect blackness, and I am so comfortable there. It's peaceful, but I can feel my powers growing while I meditate in there. I am becoming a creature of darkness more and more every time, and I know it, and I can feel the power of it go through my veins <laughs> like electricity. <laughs> Lots of times my mind starts to think about other shit than darkness, but I catch myself and focus on blackness and death again, and continue. Sometimes I fall asleep up there, and I wake up in the attic, and it gets really hot, so I end up waking up at like 7 a.m., covered in sweat. Then I just move downstairs and put on the air conditioning, and it's cool. <laughs> it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Oh, love this necromancer training. If you can't find an attic with no windows, you can do this by just blindfolding yourself in your normal room. But I don't know if it will be as helpful. If you try it, let me know, I guess. You can't find one. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, we're gonna recast. Uh, I mean, it's 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 <laughs> nobody's fault. We just you know we ran. We we you're asking prices. Uh, <laughs> uh, changed around. Uh, so um, in this case, uh, Zarla, uh, mm -hmm. I would like you to take uh, Uman, please. Uh, Uman. Jack Chick. Uh, oh, I'm gonna hi. You, I'm gonna let you go for a cultist. Let's see how that goes. Okay. Um, <laughs> oh, already optimistic. Okay, great. Yeah, no, this is gonna be great. Where, where are we? Don't worry about it. We? It's fine. It's fine, buddy. It's fine. Uh, yeah. So this is uh, the Hall of Fame. Uh, sorry, the Hall of Flame. Uh, left yeah. my left my necromancy circle due to nemesis. Oh shit. Uh, I'm gonna skip a tiny little bit here, uh, oh. just to say that basically I left my necromancer society. I know. I know. Some of you helped me pass the test to get in it, and I really appreciate that, but I just couldn't stay. Well, I have a new nemesis whose name is Dave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Reasonable. Dave. Yeah. Uh, he has diabetes and a ponytail. Well, he's proven more powerful than I originally thought. When he was stepping on my toes and stealing my spotlight, the new up-and-comer, 
I figured, well, okay, no big deal. I'll just destroy them. So I go up to the attic. I draw a power sigil with limestone chalk, and I start laying down the most serious destruction curse. <laughs> yeah! I was invoking all this demonic shit, left and right, and I could feel the dark power in my veins again, and I knew that all this dark power was going to be acting on Dave, uh, and he would get into a car accident, or be struck by lightning, or fall down some stairs, or something. So I went to work out for you. Feeling pretty good. And I was Sure, I uh, just ruined my greatest foe. But the next day, I go to my necromancer society meeting, and he's there, and he's fine. So I guess I underestimated him. The only way that he could have survived against that level of destruction curses would be to set up some very powerful magical defenses in his home. Mm -hmm. So so I guess that he knew some dark forces would be acting upon him, and he researched some good magical defense techniques on Google. (laughs) He, he, he slapped the curses away with his I'm ponytail pre- like Putin. I'm pretty, I'm pretty curious like that you're saying yeah. magical and not McGickle. <laughs> when you end up with um, low blood sugar, you can, just, you can just see the dark forces coming at you. <laughs> so that day at the Necromancer Society meeting Vincent Van... Uh, he says he's going to make a big announcement. I'm thinking, yes! This is the moment my curse works. Uh, Vincent is totally going to kick him out of the Necromancy Circle, but no! Instead, he says that he's decided that Dave will be the heir to his powers. Oh, no. Well, that was the last fucking straw, because that... <laughs> had come in and ruined everything it worked for for years for in just like a month my first thought was maybe dave had enchanted him but that's impossible (laughs) because vincent is way too powerful for that so (laughs) that's when i knew that the way of the dark circle of georgia was being Is how will we preserve the sanctity of the dark circle of Georgia? Speaking of the dark circle of Georgia, we very much appreciate your donations. Uh, they <laughs> forgot who they are, so I said, "Fuck all y'all," because you're choosing a temporary fad, a f- temporary fad over the true dark spark. And this <laughs> other necromancer there said, "Dude, shut up and quit being a baby." And I said, "You'll regret that, insignificant worm." <laughs> <laughs> And I hit him right in the mouth with my black painted oak walking stick. He fell on the ground, started holding his mouth, his lip was kind of bleeding bad, and making a big scene. So I pointed the tip of my walking stick at Dave. So he, he knew that he'd be next, and I swooshed my cape and walked right the hell out of the library room meeting. I haven't gone back for the last three meetings. I will be honest. I will be honest with you guys. It has been pretty depressing. <laughs> Aww. Well, after an exit like that, you know, you can't really ever go back because it would kind of sap the magic. Yeah. I mean, we, we, we admit it. We've all worked with a Dave and we wish we could have done what a drama like did. <laughs> the we've, Dave I know well, is, is, is a perfectly nice person. <laughs> we've, all, we've all watched our own Dave uh Destroy our own dark circle of Georgia. I think. I think. I think. Uh, I'm gonna walk up to on Monday. I'm gonna walk up to the SEO guy at my company. <laughs> with a stick, call him an insane. Uh, okay. Why are you bringing up SEO guy? Uh, because I fucking hate him. Maybe I will start my own magic circle. But this month, I have just not cared much. Vincent was pretty much the only guy I respected, so I felt like I lost my family or something. I thought I'd spend August in training and meditation, but really, I mostly just ate Mexican food and went to duty bars a lot to make myself feel better. I just sounded like an emo asshole, so I'll stop now. But yeah, that's what happened this month. Now I need to find a new necromancy circle, but there aren't that many in Georgia. So does anyone have any advice for me? Honestly, I'm just really angry, and I need a cooler head to tell me what to do. <laughs> Hmm. I presume this necromancer circle you were a part of didn't prohibit entry based on one's ability to properly communicate. <laughs> <laughs> Furthermore, a diabetes and a destruction curse, did they teach you this on Barney and Friends? I mean, <laughs> really, does this sort of thing actually go on in occult circles? The entry was based on merit, especially McGickle skills, uh, abilities and tests, also to a less degree battle skills. As for Barney, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember any episodes about destruction curses or diabetes, but if there was one, please send me a link to it, because I bet they didn't get any of the technical stuff right at all. <laughs> oh, you're awesome, yeah. drama like Baby Bob has no idea how to summon Ronnie James Dio. <laughs> 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 
All right, am I supposed to be a cultist? Yep. Let's see how this goes. All right, about my only advice would be to work on the jealousy issues. Jealousy, especially when it's to the point where you become physically magically violent. (laughs) One of those forces is liable to destroy you. It is also something that will make you weak and impede your progress. If you truly want to become powerful one day, you never will make with these kind of jealousy issues. It will weaken you, make you more vulnerable, and and draw your focus away from your goals. Just think of all the energy and time you spent going after this guy and hitting the other, or spent trying to hurt someone for being better than you at something, or maybe even just drawing attention away from you, when it could have been better used improving your own abilities. You can't be the best. Your only way of making sure that you're the best is destroying everyone who's outdone you in some way. It's like in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, it really makes sense. But not that Barney bullshit, right? No. For Queen... The queen wanted to be the fairest in all the land. When she found out that she wasn't anymore, she just decided that, that, that she would kill the person who was fairer than she. Even if she had succeeded in killing Fair Wade, Snow White, she never would have changed the fact that there was someone nor fair. That would always be true. Focus on you if you want to be the best. Focusing on you and, and on others is just a distraction. Nailed it. Of I see purple. what you're saying. And but that, also... <laughs> okay, bye. 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 Oh, oh, he fucking dropped too, for real. <laughs> <laughs> and for Jack Jack. And Yay. for Jack Jack. Okay. Oh. Yay. What an exit. Oh, boy. <laughs> he made it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I see what you're saying, but also I am already the best, so (laughs) the way I'm thinking is not like I'm destroying him from anger or revenge, but to prove that I'm the best. Still, I'm going to give some thought to what you said and sleep on it. I appreciate y'all's input. It's good to talk to people who understand. Uh, we have a, uh, uh, one last little thread. We're going to spend a tiny, tiny, uh, don't have a lot of time, but a tiny little bit of time on here. Uh, and that thread, uh, by, by our star, uh, is called, uh, the prophetic revenge dream. Uh, shell game. You haven't had a chance at this guy yet. Oh boy. <laughs> I just, I, uh, I'd like to everybody to. Point everyone's attention to Adam's drawing. I'm getting a very, I uh, like Dave. Uh, I'm getting a very uh, Andre the Giant has. I'm, I'm oh, getting yeah. a very Andre the Giant has a posse. Yeah, vibe Dave has a posse. Of, <laughs> Dave has a posse. <laughs> <laughs> hey, John, I have a posse. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you just want to start at the top? Uh, yeah. I mean, if you feel like skipping some, you go right ahead. Okay, uh, let's, let's see, um, okay, oh, I had a dream. It was totally chilling and violent, but I would say that it was a happy dream, not a nightmare. It was incredibly chilling. Mm. In my dream, I was at a barbecue that, uh, that, that, that jackass Dave's, <laughs> I mentioned him before, <laughs> parents' house, which of course is like one of the nicest houses in town because they're super rich. <laughs> so are the- you! You have a house you don't have to pay for! Yeah, but his parents are alive. Okay. <laughs> He's rich in money and family. <laughs> this was before Dave became a necromancer, I think, because in this dream, his hair was cut short and not back in a ponytail like it is now, which he thinks makes him look mysterious and wise or some shit, but really just makes him look like the guy from Highlander, the TV show, not the movie. I think the Only guy from a the little TV bit show better. Is better looking, but okay. <laughs> and more diabetic. <laughs> he has so a anyway. diabetic look about him. With that yeah, it's Dave. Rude. God. <laughs> so anyway, everyone is either eating hot dogs off the grill or playing in the swimming pool, and uh, they're all like, "Adramalek, show us how you do a flip correctly." And I say, <laughs> I, "And I say, oh I cannot right now, my child, because I am still in my a battle cloak." <laughs> why, is there, why was there not a camera crew? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it's true. T- and it's true too. Uh, everyone is wearing a bathing suit except me because I'm wearing my cloak. <laughs> 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 in the pool. Yes. 
helps me swim better. In particular, this blonde girl with an awesome rack is looking at me and she really, really wants to see my defensive evasion techniques. Yeah, she Flip specifically. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, but I've got but I have bigger things to attend to, so I give her a look like, baby, just wait. <laughs> I'm holding my staff and Dave is in the pool in the deep oh, end and he has, he has water in his eyes and he's trying to wipe the water out while he dog paddles like a child. And I say, <laughs> Dave Howell, in a booming voice, now you meet your end. <laughs> then I cast a powerful conjuring spell and suddenly the pool is full of bull sharks and tiger sharks. <laughs> By the way, Adam's properly perfected this image. <laughs> <laughs> Ponytail, diabetic, can't do a fucking flip. <laughs> it's good. In this stream, I chose two types of sharks because bull sharks can survive in freshwater for long periods of time, and tiger sharks are very famous for being aggressive. If I right, but the did tiger sharks die because they're in freshwater? No. Okay. no! Obviously, I dumped a bunch of salt in the pool before the party. <laughs> of course, of course you did. If I choose earth sharks or something, then the spell would just create a bunch of sharks that would sit at the bottom of the pool looking for crabs, die, and then float up on the top. Amateur. <laughs> The point is that even in my dreams, I am very good at strategy and tactics due to my necromancy training regiment. So you take this, uh, so, uh, and drama cool guy, uh, you take this dream as a sign, yep. right? You're, you take this dream as a sign, is that right? I do, I do. I take this dream as a sign that I will overcome the challenges I face today. At first, I decide to take it more literally by doing two things. Number one. <laughs> I did some research to find out if anyone had come up with a, any good shark conjuring spells, <laughs> but they hadn't. What? God damn it! Everyone's letting That's... me down! No, because right? such a spell seems highly situational. Wait, I, 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 know, I know somebody who would be perfect. This one guy in Iowa is working on one. He can only get the spirits of dead sharks to haunt a location, not actual sharks to come. I, I think even if you did it on land and the shark just thrashed around on the grass, it would still be pretty fucking scary. I mean, it would, but like for a very short time. And I mean, Dave's probably used to it, but number two, I checked Dave's Facebook. Oh, I checked Facebook to see if Dave, <laughs> Dave had made Facebook events invitations for a BBQ in the near future. He had not. Uh, for a second, I good. thought about making my Great, like... good. Good story, yeah. bro. <laughs> yeah, I looked up if he did a thing. He didn't. You know, for a second, I thought about making my own barbecue to trap him at, at trap him at. So I bought a keg of Miller High Life. I won't drink it because my body is in my temple. Oh, but I want yeah. other people to be able to enjoy. Oh. Uh, and... <laughs> <laughs> Um, and, and a bunch of kick-ass meat. None of that lame meat. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was going to invite Dave to the barbecue so I could smite him in front of everyone, perhaps by placing a hex of decay upon him. But then I was like, wait, screw that. I hate Dave, and I don't want him to be at my barbecue, so you I didn't what? invite I've, him. I've picked that up from you. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm setting up. I don't think, think you like Dave. I yeah, and why would I invite Dave to the barbecue that I am putting putting on so I can trap him? <laughs> Anyways, the barbecue is on Saturday, starting around 1 p.m. So if you're in uh, Georgia, yep. you can come by if you think you're bad enough to roll with this. You're not. <laughs> <laughs> Agree. Also, Agree. I'm not. <laughs> no, not. <laughs> also, some of you who are not nice to meet me, not nice to me, are not invited. <laughs> Probably you know who you are, but the rest of you are really welcome. I I know I'm not the most popular person here, but some of y'all are, are not. <laughs> so, be. No, because like what? These people have like what? Am I gonna friends. like be in a cultist camp? Fuck her. She's not interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cards right. <laughs> <laughs> Uma with a shitty Barney joke? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Some of y'all 
y'all are really good at talking me down when I'm angry and making and making me see things in a different light. I know I have a temper and ego problems. At least I can admit it, though. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> All these Odramalek posts, like, I just picture him constantly twirling nunchucks while he's talking about this stuff. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna just copy paste uh, this bit of text because uh, you know this thread goes on um, and uh, the thread goes on and you know more back and forth. Uh, but Andromalek uh, posts this uh, eventually. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, do, you, do you want me to continue? Yes, please. Oh, sure. But I might, I, I might have made a mistake when I was thinking about what the real point of that dream was. It was not smiting Dave. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? It was not sharks. What? It was not even the barbecue itself, which actually I lied about. It was not fun at all because only like three people came, including my aunt, who was divorced. <laughs> it was it was the friends I made along the way. <laughs> <laughs> It was the blonde girl with the kick-ass rack. So yeah, it was the friends I made along the way. (laughs) It'll just come out and say it. I met her. I was at the library doing some additional shark research, and this girl is there, and I could swear on that twisted (laughs) scimitar of Andra Alphys, the (laughs) rampage, (laughs) that it was the girl from my dream. Even her breasts were large, like the girl in my dream. And I found myself picturing her with them uncovered. (gasps) (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> I thought this was probably also a vision of the future, which meant we'd get to see her naked for real in the future, which meant I couldn't bail if I hit on her since you can't change the future. All those movies are false. Uh, speaking of your uh, blonde girl with the kick-ass track, uh, I gotta, I gotta say, I've, I've always, I mean, I, I, you know, I have trouble sometimes, you know, meeting girls, talking to girls. Uh, I would love a good pickup line. Uh, and like, do you have a good pickup line that you use on this, uh, on this girl? Oh, you, you know, I've practiced it a lot, but it's okay. so, so yeah, I think I got it down. Yeah, yeah when. <laughs> When this world ends, it will be by my hand. I will spare you if you will be my dark queen. Hell, it worked on me. Damn. All right. All right. Learn anything? Learn anything? Uh, anything? Learn anything? Oh. Jamalek is cool. I, I learned that the uh, the older brother from a N- Napoleon Dynamite has been keeping active. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I learned that uh, Ronnie James Dio had hotter Brodies. <laughs> I, I, I learned that, that Ronnie James Dio made out with the uh, what's his face? Uh, Lemmy Kilmeister. Yes, Lemmy. Yes. Yeah, I, I will say, like as, as somebody who has uh, owned forums, uh, when a guy I'm go like, look that up when we're done. When a guy like a uh, Dramalek <laughs> shows up, uh, you know he's going to flame out, like, and you know it's going to end badly. But before it does. <laughs> <laughs> It's a good month or two for your forum. Before you light your forum's <laughs> attic on fire. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think, but I don't think anybody on occultforum.org was having as much fun being on this forum as a no. drama like is. Yeah. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, that was our 17. Uh, I have uh, oh, a piece of news I'll share with you in the next hour, but uh, we got eighteen hour eighteen coming up. Uh, that is oh god, doc- that is a document. Ugh. Oh, I don't like that title. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Well, it's, nutshell, nutshell, you're going to bring us a document called a hungry little girl. Yeah. Don't worry. It's not. not it's a recipe doc. It's okay. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, that's by Mix. Uh, Nutshell's your host. Uh, your guests uh, in that episode are Lemon Boots, Istvahan, and Shell Game. Uh, Adam Bozar still on the pen. And oh, Nemesis boy! Dave has a coffee. <laughs> See you real soon.